Oh, righty. I'm gonna check this out here. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You are so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Well... Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is that more gross than lobster hands? Sorry, yeah. Uh, I guess things are still a little raw for you. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? What are you saying? D! What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. All right. Sorry, it was boring for you to watch this. Um, yeah, I got a couple of thoughts. It's pretty good. Um, let's see. Let me volume a bit. I think that's okay. I mean, the way it started, I was looking kind of what's going on, and then I found them, and then we cut right to them. You could potentially linger a bit longer on this shot, just a bit. Okay. That's cool. Okay with that. A snake for a tongue. You are so bad at this. Would you rather? This is a strange cut. Because we're moving with him and we end up with him here. <coughs> Excuse me. But then we're suddenly here. He's edging the frame. Uh, it's just a strange cut. I mean, you're, you want to be at least 30% different between cuts. So we, we are slightly closer, but there's something about this where it doesn't feel like a needed cuts like this framing doesn't tell me more storytelling wise tongue you are so bad at this would you rather have a snake for a tongue Awful. or lobster claws for hands you know since he's doing this i think i will be we we establish where we are we establish where they are so bad at this would you rather now what i would do is bring up his arms and i would do a single because he's explaining things. We know who he's, who, he's, who he's talking to. Now it's about arms, right? What, what would you rather have, blah, blah, blah. And in that way, we're not constantly on a two-character shot. Have a snake for a tongue. Awful. Or lobster claws for a hand. You know, and when she says awful, you don't always have to see the character who says something, right? His, her awful could be visible in his view. So, like, you know, if that's the character like this, and your camera is like this right now, what if the camera is like that? So we're slightly three-quarters, so we see more of the face. So imagine he's acting it out and he's almost looking at his hands. And when she says awful, you would have a slight blink and eye dart up looking at her. And then, and then he keeps on talking. So he reacts to what she's saying, but she's saying it off screen. See, and then we cut back to her, which is great. So first we go to him. Now we on her. Her lobster claws for hands. Well... Snake tongue. Yeah, and that's cool too, because then you go to, a, a, you know, before that we're a medium, and now it's a pretty close up, and then close up on him, which is great. Snake tongue. Gross. What? I think that's okay. Tongue. Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster? Like here, this seems very similar to this. It's pretty much the same. So if she's here. And that's your camera. I think I would change the camera to be a bit more on her, just a bit, so it gives you a, a different camera. And and we're we're more towards her face. We're more involved because. Make tongue. Gross. What? How is it more? Because she's emotionally more invested. Like there's more stuff going on, so we want to be more on her face to read all that stuff. More gross than lobster hands. Sorry. And this feels weird. Like I know we now we're starting to repeat shots, so it could be where. He's more head on, and we it could be over the shoulder where she's here, uh, you know. And if he's looking at her hand, I'm not sure what the context is here, you know. He could look down, and it's implied that he looks down here, and it's more of a, you know, maybe we're, he would be taller. But you know, what I'm saying is that the camera would be here, looking up maybe, and it's like a slight implied POV behind her shoulder. Yeah, I guess things are still a little raw for you. Because she can still do this. Right? Imagine cameras behind it. We can still see that hand on there. We can still see the head drop. We still see what she does peripherally in here. 
but we still see his performance hit um, straight on. So now we're, we're missing all the face because it's always in profile. He ain't out of the woods yet. I... Which means that that would be a bit of a repeat. Um, oh, for you. He ain't out of the woods yet. I know. But... See, but now he's more comforting. So to me, I will put him punch in so we can read more of his face and just a single on him. Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. See, all that stuff you want to read his eyes and his emotions and everything so definitely close here which is then cute on her and you can get almost close as you can kind of read her eyes you know that little smile in there but this is not too bad like this is maybe a bit tighter look you know i ain't going nowhere and that's cool because he's getting closer so now we want to see the two shot because we want to see how physically they get closer what are you saying and then that's great because she comes in and builds a divide between the two. So that's great. Watch out though, she's coming right to left. He's looking left to right. So this is correct. I like that. Yeah, I think that works. But then it's weird. Then I would have him here and her here. So she still continues right to left and he still continues left to right. And when she exits, right, when she goes away and he looks this way, you know, she can easily Again, imagine he's here, she's here. She can easily walk behind him as a more interesting parallax and depth of the of the scene. Because right now they're almost the same distance. It makes the scene very flat. So imagine she will go behind him. That will, you know, and you can rack focus. You can do some depth of field if you need. I don't mean to interrupt the chat. And then he looks at her. And again, this and this is very similar. Where is it? Here, this and this ish, whenever I'm trying to find it. There you go. So, on her, girlfriend, just girlfriend. Like, that's really like, what? And she's whispering, so I'll be even closer, right? Make that a really a close up and get rid of the body. So, we're closer. Again, it's a different shot, so you don't repeat yourself like here. So, it's a closer, but it, it helps with the whisper. You don't want to whisper and be far away from the character. I mean, you could, obviously, but I'm just saying. And then that's okay, and maybe a tiny bit closer. Because then we're back on a wide. Because then here, I would, whatever look he can do, and then he can start turning around. And you finish that turn in this, and he starts walking, and she's walking. And this is good. This is good that you're moving away with the camera, kind of showing, well, the scene is done. We're moving away from it. All right, that's kind of what I have. Obviously, all subjective. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, but that is it. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.